Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Hey guys, Superton here. Welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. We're gonna get right into this because I get the feeling this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Say hello to my most hated boss in this entire game. This is Elagor. Now, first thing you notice, I have Globus up. And you're thinking, well, that's, that's weird. Well, there's two things with this boss. First of all, he takes... I'm gonna have to slow down no matter what I do with this spell. God fucking damn it, it's just the emulation. And I don't want to not use this because I feel this spell is kind of best in most cases. Alright, so I gotta just deal with the slowdown. Nothing I can do about it. That's... that's pretty terrible. Oh well. Things I can explain about this boss. This boss is probably also one of the longest boss fights in the game. Now he has one more sword attack where like come down in a wide arc further away. It's easiest to just stand next to him for the most part because of the easy to dodge sword. And when the ballista comes down, by the way you want to kill the ballista. Um, when the ballista comes down, it's not too terribly hard to dodge down here. Now then you could probably figure pretty easily, pretty reasonably, that your goal is to destroy the red gems. That makes perfect sense. Seems like, yeah, yeah, that should be our goal. No real confusion about that. And that would be our goal. There's more to it than that. Because the only red gem that really matters for damage is the one on his forehead. Now then, when you're underneath him, there's not that much he can do. I'm probably gonna try to just destroy both the ballista. Gotta go back to Globus now. Yeah. I'm gonna use this. Oh, thank god, both ballista are destroyed. So, yes, there's nothing more I need to do in here. Other reason I don't like this boss. Waiting game! Got it underneath him. Perfect. Now then. We're obviously not done yet. We need to get on top of him. I can go back to this now with no real issues. With the ballistas dead, I don't really need to be on Globus right now. Yeah. He's got a chain linked tail. Pretty bad. Pretty freaking bad. Wait for it. Too slow. If you hear the whole, um, I think it sounds like a, there's a chain clinking together. That there is the tell. I barely dodged that in time. Do enough damage to that, you'll destroy that gem, you'll be able to walk up on to his back. Which brings us to the next problem. His back. You can get hit in so many places so stupidly because of how the boss moves. Okay. No damaging this boss is a complete and utter crapshoot. I don't know how I didn't get knocked off there. Oh, that's the other thing. You can get knocked off both backwards and forwards. If you get knocked off the front of him, you have to do this whole ordeal one more time and get back on top of his back. I am not... I have no qualms whatsoever using healing potions in this. Elagor is... That kind of a boss. And really. I think I'd be safe. Nope, I'm not safe down there. Okay, good to know. Yeah, it's also, you, you don't know where you're safe. Another high potion. And I killed him. Perfect. This boss is one of the biggest pains in the ass as far as I am concerned but he's dead now and that is really the one of the worst and hardest things left for us to take care of and with that we get Ama Kustos which grants us the mighty power of Cerberus Cerberus however you pronounce it it's resonating with the others is this the final piece Gee, I wonder. It's not like we have three different glyphs of Cerberus now. Uh, for now, I want to go back to Nitsko because I don't like this spell otherwise, and it lags the game like a 
bitch on this emulator. Sure. Yeah, you know what? I'll replace this for now. So. Sinestro Custos. Dextro Custos. And... Amra Custos. The three heads of Cerberus. By the way, Sinestro being the left hand, that is, I believe, actually where the word sinister came from. Is, um, Sinestro. Something like that, where it means left. So people who were left-handed were thought to be sinister. Same word meaning there. Anyway, this, you see the third head of Cerberus behind me? That's what it is. What this spell does more particularly... Let me take some damage. See on that screen how my attack went up? Take more damage. This glyph, the more damage you take, the more damage you do. Or rather, let me rephrase that. The lower your health is, the more damage you do. So, my uh, full little game cheesing strategy was to go into a boss fight. Or any real fight, actually. Oof, I got hit there. Or, like, just run around, like, yeah, for to... Actually, yeah, my strategy to cheese the final boss before I could even properly react was to go through and I would use the Dominus Glyphs, which damage your health, to reduce my health down to a fairly low percentage, like 5% at most. I would put that on. I would put two Death Rings on. Your damage output at that point is obscene. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna put this back on. I'm gonna save because I can. I don't it's actually going to be more beneficial to me in the short run to have just the buff up. Now, the third head of Cerberus, or the middle head, depending on how you view it, will, in truth, be stronger than... I want to use parries, not that. Will be stronger than anything else you might do. Or will be... Let me rephrase it again. Okay, when you are at full health, the buff will do more damage than the heads of Cerberus. That's kind of apparent already. However, if you were at, like, low health, like, just a fraction, 1%, not even that low, the Heads of Cerberus would do significantly more damage than having, like, the buff up. Like, just having the strength buff, the Armor Custos would do much more damage than having that up. So, it is still a useful thing to have. I'm gonna be very cautious with it, though, because... As I've proven with my attempt to use the Death Ring against Death, I like dying. Yeah, I really like dying, apparently, and that's something I don't really want to die to. I'm smart. There was a warp right over there. Super smart. The smartest. Let's deal with the damn cave trolls. Let's put the buff up and deal with cave trolls. Yeah. How did I ever go through this game the first time without using these buffs or anything? I I don't even, really. Because these buffs are just too strong. These buffs are just too amazing. Alright, now in here. Head of Sabrus. Head of Sabrus. Head of Sabrus. And with the Guardian of the Overworld or Underworld. With his soul, or soul, glyph, you're able to progress to tread into hell itself. Oof. Let's get up here without getting petrified, hopefully. Hopefully. Yep. And what's over here? Save room. You know, I'll have to save room up. Never hurts to save. But with that, we are heading into the final area of Dracula's castle. The final approach. Dust to dust. And we get to kill a bunch of monsters here that we've seen in several places of the game, like the devil. Let me go! Wow, I did not know they could actually just make you run away. I thought they only made you attack. Crap, you hurt. I actually have good armor on, dude. Don't I still have that on? Yeah, I still have the, like... Yeah, granted, I have the Mercury boots on and not the full Valkyrie gear. 
Do you only get the Minerva gear in hard mode? You might. I'll be disappointed about that. The Minerva gear is... That would make sense if it's hard mode only, actually. Well, if I don't get it, any pieces... Oh, no, it's hard mode only. Alright, is there anything over here? No. So this area, it's moderately linear, I do believe. It's not that bad, though. There are a lot of imps here, though. Here we go. Oh god, Bugbear. Have we already fought Bugbear? Yes, we have. I'm probably gonna have to heal again. It is so much easier to fight you when I can jump. At least with this glyph. Mimic? Not a mimic. An emerald. Not bad. More lizard men. Alright, what else we got here? I still need to get a lot of glyphs, and I'm going to be going back and taking care of a lot of farming type stuff. Okay, we haven't actually shown off any of this thing's attacks yet. I'm going to be showing off a lot of glyphs that I still need to get before I beat the game. I just kind of want to be in the position where I can beat the game when I choose to. Alright, nothing fancy there. That's a dashing picture of Dracula, don't you think? I don't feel like there's a hidden area somewhere here. Not in here, obviously. Yeah, not in here, obviously. Game trolls! All of the cave trolls! <sighs> cave trolls! So freaking nasty! What's down here? There's a Lilith down here. We haven't killed Lilith yet. Now we've killed Lilith. Lilith isn't really that difficult to kill. And the final knight! These things are, I believe, to be your final guards. Or is there actually an is there an actual final guard? I don't recall if these are supposed to be the final guards or if there's a different monster that it's supposed to be. Regardless, they are supposed to be rather tough, and normally they would be, but I do a lot of damage with Ditsko. So, yeah. In this room. More MP up, nice. Also, these guys which have a glyph, which we should be able to get easy enough, to be honest. It's rare, but these things die like paper. As for the glyph we can get here... Volticus. Vol... Volticus. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Comes with a pair of wings that allow the power of flight. Let's throw that on you, sure. You know, it makes most sense to have it on this, even if I lose the buff. This glyph... You can fly. Now, you aren't able to actually absorb any glyphs while you're flying, which is one downside, but the horror... Come on, gotta kill all the bugbears! One more? Two more. Think I got them all? Yes. And in here we get the Sun Ring, Blue Drops, two more, really? Sun Ring, Blue Drops, and more MP up, okay. And Max Heart up. That's actually, I'm okay with the Max Heart up. Okay, so we got Blue Drops. I want to use those right away, actually. I want to use Blue Drops right away, because why wouldn't I? Nothing else over there. Uh, let me see. My attribute points are actually looking pretty nice, to be honest. Pretty darn nice. Yep. Alright, so... I do want to try to get this glyph. It'll be best if I do this while I'm near the ground. It should... Oh, hey, another hey, green chest. Let's grab you. The Thief Ring. Do I already have a Thief Ring? I feel like I do. Now then, this... Hopefully, shouldn't take too long to farm up because it's a low drop rate. But luck shenanigans. What can I do all for luck shenanigans? I can do the fool. I can do. Do I want the fool? I probably might not want the fool. Probably want the thief. Actually, I can do double thief. I'm gonna do double thief. I want the 
Treasure hat. I actually do not know how much luck I just gave myself from this. But enough to get this on my first try. Or not many tries. Phidias Alate. Probably be between that still. Summons guardians to glide down from above. It's essentially them. But yeah. I'm gonna keep this on actually because if I recall, there should be more of. Keep in mind, there is also a very good reason why they have a doorway that thick going into here. But we won't be able to cover that for a little bit. Anyway, our reward for all this. So much, not really a war reward, it's just a new passage, or er, passage, passageway for us. Because we can now get into down here. Kill these guys, which... As strong as those guys. Yes! I get its axe. This should be the third tier axe. Yep. Uh, I like to like. And this is also how you get to this area, up top. And now you can fly here. It's pretty nice. Though, now I gotta get back. I could put the run fast glyph on, but that might not end well. I should probably heal as well. Well, I have nothing that will allow me to heal well, would I? Do I? No, Mint Sunday. Salt. And my super potions. Okay then, this is gonna be trickier than I would have liked. I say that, but it's not gonna be that bad. I also feel like, is wings required or not? I don't recall. I do not recall. Regardless, I want to put back on... Sapius, yes. Yep, that attack! That attack the final guards have. I'm pretty sure you were supposed to be a final guard. He also has two drops, he's not the easiest thing to kill. But with all the ridiculous luck shit stuff I have on, hopefully I'll get one of the drops. I don't recall what he drops off the top of my head though. Maybe it'll be shiny. Not dropping it yet. Man. Wow, oh, just give me your drops, really. Freaking cave trolls are the devils. Actually, no, there's an actual devil enemy, which is not a cave troll, but beside the point. Luckily, cave trolls aren't that terrible if you're skilled in handling them. Like, I apparently am at this. Yes. Yes. I do. One more hit would have killed me. I can't risk that. I will use the super potion. Better than saving it and dying. I mean, really, it does me no good if I'm dead. Kill the devil. This room that's... No, it can't be there. We gotta go down. Four final knights. I have double thief ring. The thief hat. I don't have that much more luck shit I can do. Give me your stuff. Come on. Give me your stuff. They really don't want to give me their stuff. Nah, it'd be nice to get your glyph. It'd be nice to get the succubus's gear, or Lilith's gear. I feel like they can charm you with that kiss, which says interesting things about either the ability of the um, Lilith or about Shinoa. Read that as you will. Alright, this area. This is a lot easier when I have this glyph, because I don't really need to change weapons too much, considering that this does two elements, one of which they, the enemies are usually weak to at least one. And it's not surprising to see enemies weak to both. In worst case scenario, you're probably still going to see an enemy that's weak to one, but or resistant to one, but weak to another. What do I feel like there's something here? 
Can't go down. I don't think going up will do anything for me. And here we get Max Hearts Up. I can always use more hearts. Oh yeah, by the way, in case it hasn't been mentioned, the uh, Sun Ring, it's like the Moon Ring, but during the day, I still don't know what exactly the uh, time criteria is for it. I'm assuming it is the DS's time. That would make sense. Let's go over here. I think. Okay, here's the warp for dust to dust. Which means I could realistically end there, but I would like to continue because I think we are very close to where the final boss is. Okay, I feel like it's not here. Alright, we gotta put wings back on. So first things first. I like that they give you a way back here without wings. Got myself parries. I like, yeah, I like that they give you a way back here without wings, first of all. More MP, it's always nice. I can use MP up pretty quickly if I want. And they have two chests here that you need parries to get. It's really just an annoyance at this point to get to these. Oh yeah, a super potion to make up for the one I spent. But with wings, you can fly up to there. And before I go in there... I feel like there's a secret area we missed. How much map do we have here? Oh, there's definitely something I missed in here then. I feel like we should have more than... We have 98.8. .8. What does this next room give me? This gets me for this map... 9. So there are... Five rooms I'm missing. The boss room, if memory serves, is made up of two rooms. So that's three rooms I'm missing still. Fun. Well, I'll seek those out when probably the next episode because I'm gonna be going around taking care of pretty much everything else. The large cavern, because with wings and globus, I can handle a large cavern. I'm gonna go through the training grounds a few more times, get the Alexanderite, I'm gonna get all the remaining side quests taken care of, find the bits of map I'm missing, and get ready to take on the final boss. I'm also gonna get the glyphs I'm missing in case I didn't mention that. But yeah, this is gonna be quite a fun little bit of shenaniganry, I will admit. Where the crap are... I feel like there's one more room around here I'm missing. I'm pretty... Pretty sure that there's one more room somewhere up here I'm missing. I think it's off to the left or off to the right somewhere. So I'll have to find that. There's two more rooms over here. Would it be three rooms over there? Could be. Oh no, yeah, I know where this room is. I know where the rooms are. If I save, I did not save. You know what? You know what? You know what? We're still here. I'm gonna show you this off because I'm pretty sure I know where these rooms are. Because if I'm right. Cybris. If I'm right. Yep, there it is. This is what I was missing. Three rooms. I knew it was three rooms I was missing. The Onyx World Ring. Does this mean we can stop time? I think it means we can stop time. The World Ring, a diamond, and gold ore. So a bunch of nice stuff up here, and with that, our map completion for this area goes to 99.6. Again, I've mentioned the final area, or the final room, is made up of two different rooms. So that is full map completion for this area. Oh boy. So yeah, like I was saying, all that's going to be left for us is... It's outside of beating the final boss, getting all the glyphs that we've yet to get. Taking care of the side quests we've yet to finish. And going through the large cavern. And I'm going to start that off all next time, with, or next episode. And I think I'll start off with the large cavern, because I think I can handle that now. I just need the wings glyph. That's going to be a train wreck. That is going to be an absolute train wreck. Well, until next time, guys. Later.